everybody, I'm Dennis Cometti. Welcome along to VFL Park as round 19 in the AFL competition kicks off. And today, it's Hawthorne against St Kilda. The Hawks have won four of their last five. They're getting players back and they're starting to roll now. And by contrast, St Kilda have been losing players and losing matches. Last Saturday, they lost by 68 points against Collingwood. But bear in mind, if we go back to their last meeting, it was in round six. And the Saints prevailed by three points, as you can see. A thrilling game. One of the games of the season, 15-14 to 14-17 at Moorabbin. Tony Lockett's fitness is a worry. He's uh, starting on the bench by the looks of things. Yes, well, that's, that is an interesting move, and uh, that really shows just what sort of form and fitness he is in at the moment. So away we go. The game of the day. Hawthorne and St Kilda. Lawrence with the run. Missed it, though. Harding got it down. Platten the first kick towards half forward. Awkward bounce for Taylor coming up to meet the ball, but Grant's got it. 55, 60 metres. He's kicking into the breeze. It falls in short. In front, almost the mark that is in Kilda. Lamb in the grasp, a high kick. It goes about 10 metres. And Lowe, who is superb in those situations, they came at him from all directions. And he's taken the mark from 15 metres out and should get it has got it it's a goal half forward flank centering kick all St Kilda sun in their eyes Morrissey takes the mark well as Jamie Morrissey came from nowhere a nest of three Saints that was the problem Drew the St Kilda players looking at the sun David Grant there not sure where the ball was. Morrissey from 47 metres. Breeze right at his back. Gets the Hawks' first goal. And Hawthorne hit the front. Hand pass to Dwyer. Heavily strapped on the thigh. Over the ball. Somehow gets it to Pekin. Short pass is good this time. And at last, some system on St Kilda's forward line. Nixon marks. Chance for the Saints to regain the lead. Ricky Nixon right in front and the man on the mark is only about uh, 20 to 25 metres from goal good kick Ray Jenke off the left good distance with this one inside half forward Dunstall underneath it the only chance is Brereton but it's tapped out of defence here comes Dunstall again he goes off the ground great kick played for the Swans but was on their books as Drew mentioned there goes the short pass intended for Dwyer Lamb well done gets the hand pass to Arnold Arnold from 20 metres out what's he done he's kicked the goal good stuff wing good evasion Harris goes down towards the 50 metre line Dwyer's in front Collins got a fist on it going to be a free kick to the Saints now the advantage is paid Windmar in trouble it was taken higher this is Pekin St Kilda still going Peaking towards goal. That's a magnificent kick under pressure. Alan Jeans in his ninth season at Hawthorne preparing to go down towards the boundary. Inside the last minute of the term. Chance here for the Hawks. Morrissey back to Brereton. Not for goal, but for Dunstall. Oh, great mark. Dunstall goes for his second and kicks it. And the margins back to a point. Back to Jenke. He was a good player in the first quarter, Ray Jenke. Up short of half forward. Deer punches on. Chance for Brereton. Not moving freely. Into Kennedy, who is moving freely. Kennedy's kick for goal is sensational. Brown sees the ball going Hawthorne's way. That's his great skill. Jenke out to Lawrence. High kick by Lawrence. Good spoil by Jeffrey on Brereton. Comes to Kennedy. Another good kick. Dunstall. Good use of the body once again by Jason Dunstall. Well, the Hawks on fire in this quarter. Dunstall for goal number four. Stunning effect. Low. Outmarking Mew. Biggest hands in football, Stuart Low. Leads the marks in the competition by about 50 or 60 over Steve Kernahan. Now he's found Nixon, still too far out to score. He blazes away for Lockett. From behind, Tony Lockett's first touch is a mark. Leah to Anderson, who's 60 metres out from goal. 
in short, taken by Jenke. Jenke steadies, goes Goldwood and kicks the marvellous goal. Matt was chucked out of a four-storey window. A little trouble here for Lankford. It comes to the front of Winmar's spoil. Arnold back to Winmar. Up to Lockett. Yes! Great mark, Tony Lockett. He's had three chances. He's taken two marks and laid a brilliant tackle. Yes, that was a great mark, Tony Lockett. He deserves this one after that uh, tremendous effort. Tony Lockett right in front and about 20 metres out from goal. Gets his second. Harding gets it down. Whitman on the burst, though. Carries the ball towards half forward. Whitman's kick not a good one. Brereton in front. Feeds it out wide. Brilliantly gathered by Kennedy. Good hand pass. A great gather and a goal. What a quick reply. Kennedy, a very valuable player in this turn. But his kick astray, Deer takes an easy mark. Just under four minutes left to half time. Michael Tuck drives it towards the goal square. Morrissey, two touches, not enough. Off the ground, Brereton, the goal. Well, what a team is Hawthorne. Now it's siren time to end the half. And St Kilda have been overrun. They finish up with the ball. And they finish up with a huge deficit as well. At half time, Hawthorne 12-8, Leeds St Kilda 6-2. In the other way, that one. Now here's Michael Tuck. Left half forward, Tuck, looking for Paul Deere. In from the side, Brereton. He dropped it. Kennedy, cleverly. And again from Whitman to Pritchard. What a superb team goal if he kicks it. He has. As clever as you like. Plays on quickly to Harding. Now it's with Nixon. Kicks inside the foot. Oh. And a strong mark is taken by Lockett. Not a good kick. It was falling in short. Kicked two goals in the second term. Needed to be there from the start. Although it's easy to second guess the coach, I guess. And they're so far behind. Lockett's kick is true. Ed Pekin goes looking for Frawley. He's got the run of it forward of centre. Danny Frawley, low kick down towards full forward. Lockett. Now, strange to relate, if Lockett kicks this, it's been easy to give it away. They haven't done that. So Tony Lockett. Kicking at the ninth for St Kilda. They've done best in the last five minutes or so. Good looking kick. Splits the middle. Pass it. Jenke got a timely hand on the ball. Now Bowie. Away to Frawley. Frawley from 20 metres out. He's had a black day but he's made some amends there. Whitman. And now Tuck. Breaking away. Brereton over his head. Dunstall. Trapped the awkward half volley. Anderson sockers it through the congestion. Brereton taken front on there by Jeffrey. This is Anderson. Nicely done. Snaps and kicks a goal. It was a real battle. Hawthorne 15 13. St Kilda 11 4. Hardy. Hardy plays on immediately. Long down towards full forward, low going back, got his fingertips to it, it falls to Dwyer, who snaps and gets it. Well, they led by 42 at half-time after a nine-goal second quarter. And really, their performance has been dominated by that turn. The rest of it, St Kilda right in it. Hurried kick by Muller. Hooked over the top by Sexton, taken by Pritchard. There's going to be oh, there's a fight on behind play and they're coming from everywhere to get into this. These teams do not like each other. I think there was a bit of stomping in the pack, shall we say, Drew. And St Kilda are incensed by it. Well, it's been uh, brewing for quite some time. There's been a couple of incidents earlier in the game. And Dermot in the middle of it again. Smothered, Devonport. Eventually the fight has been broken up. Dippy and Dominico and Lockett again. Yeah. At it. And holding the ball, free kick here to St Kilda. And the emergency umpire has been on the ground. He might have used up a little bit of pencil there, I think. Yeah, that was a classic. I was watching it all the way that time, Drew. Dippy and Dominico thought he was taken high. He went back after Lockett. Lockett was half turned away from him, but expecting him. 
and turned and confronted him and decked him immediately. There was no punch there though. Just wrestled into the ground, but he laid a trap. Here's Sexton off hands. Kicks a goal. Pretty scrappy. Jeffrey. Platt on the bounce. Interesting kick. <laughs> Luck's a fortune there. Nugent takes the mark. Playing in his fourth AFL game. Kicking for goal from about 47 metres. And that's a good effort. Back in the middle as the clock runs down. Arnold sold Nixon into trouble. Sliding in there was Harris. It's almost siren time. There it is. It's all over. A niggly sort of game won by the Hawks. <laughs> They win it by six goals, 17-17 to 13-5. They had to work. They set it up in the second term. St Kilda came back with great spirit in the third quarter. And feelings very high in that third quarter. And they spilled over into the last. And some of the game's biggest names involved.